Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal Magazine. Welcome back to the National Hardware Show. I'm in Gorilla Glue's booth. Now a lot of you know that Gorilla Glue makes an awesome polyurethane glue, but did you know that they make an awesome woodworking glue as well? Let me show you how it's used. One task that's very common in woodworking, especially cabinet making, is when you add a strip of solid wood to cover up the edge of a piece of plywood, for example, on a shelf. It's not hard to do, and it looks great when it's done, but it is a little time consuming. Now one thing that I've done for years is take a thicker piece of hardwood and glue it up between two shelves. That way when the glue cures, you can rip it down the center, now you have two shelves faced for the effort of one. Now I have a couple of tips that will help you do this even more effectively. Let me show you what I mean. The first tip is to cut the solid hardwood wider than the thickness of the plywood. It's just too fussy to get it glued on exactly the same thickness and flush. The other thing is it's super easy and it looks better if you trim it afterwards with a router. The next thing is cut your strip about 3 8 of an inch thick wide. That way when you rip it down the center with a standard saw blade, you'll leave 1 8 of an inch facing strips on both pieces of plywood, which is perfect for this task. Now plywood edges as a glue surface is a bit sketchy, so use a good quality glue and put a good coat of glue on both surfaces. The next tip is that when you start this out, rub it back and forth until it gets a good little tack. You'll actually be able to get it to stick pretty well just by doing that. Then apply more glue. You'll notice that this, I'm doing this in the end vise, it makes it handy for lots of reasons, but you'll see the coolest reason in just a, a minute. Again with the rubbing. Now here's the cool part. Notice that the shelf hangs out a little bit over the edge of the vise. Now I can just clamp this thing up right here. Align it so that you're, everything's properly done. One more clamp. And we're ready to let the glue cure. Now that the glue has cured and it's out of the clamps, I'm ready to rip it in half, the fun part. You might notice a little problem here, however. Remember that this strip of wood is wider than the thickness of the board? The way to accom accommodate that and make certain that this cut is perfectly square is to have a couple of, rip a couple of skinny pieces of wood that are the same thickness as the offset. Then I just tape them in place quickly. If you're doing a whole bunch of shelves, obviously you can just move these strips from shelf to shelf. And I'll be ready to turn on the saw in just a second. The last step is to flush up the hardwood to the face of the plywood. You can do that any number of ways. I like using a block plane, it works fast and clean. You can use a sander. In this case, I used a bearing guided router bit. Some people use a flush bit, but I used a chamfer bit to add a nice little 45 degree detail on it. I think it looks good. So the next time you have a lot of ugly plywood edges to hide, give this trick a try. It's just that easy. So the next time you're in your shop doing some woodworking, consider using Gorilla Brand wood glue. I think you'll like it. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.